Welcome to my channel. It's Tracy. Today's video, we're going to be looking at some Victoria Beckham makeup. It's going to be a short video because I don't have that much. <sighs> you know what? I saw this brand online a lot and it never appealed to me. I never felt like I wanted to try it until the bronzer came out. I loved it so much that I had to try more from this brand. So I guess we'll start with the bronzer, even though I've talked about it already. This is the Victoria Beckham, well, obviously, matte bronzing brick in the shade 01. The last time that we talked about this bronzer, I was saying that these shades for me are too yellow. I thought they'd be more rosy when I saw them on YouTube. And even though I'm starting to tan, I was hoping it would get a little better, but I mean, your skin tone doesn't change if you tan, right? So really they are too yellow for me, but I can make them work. And I don't even care, the formula is so good. But you know what's weird? Last time I showed you, I was doing this with the same brush, the same way, and there was a lot of kick up. It was very dusty and it's just so strange. I don't know why there's no more kick up. It's, do you guys remember that? And do I see a little bit of hard pan here? No. Couldn't be. I'm still using it a lot and I'm not having any problems with it. So um, um, I wonder if I should have taken the shade zero too, but I don't know. Like it's so hard to see on YouTube. So next, uh, the same tortoiseshell packaging. I picked up two of her eyeshadow palettes. Even though I heard a lot of YouTubers say the eyeshadow palettes are a lot smaller than the bronzer, I was surprised that they were as small as they are. But you know what? You gotta love this tortoiseshell packaging. It's really heavy across the brand. Like their packaging is really, really nice. Okay, the first eyeshadow palette I got is the shade Signature. These have been out for quite a while, so I'm not gonna go in depth talking about them too much, but I'm gonna just try to tell you what caught me by surprise. They smell like urine. I'm sorry to be gross. It's true, it's very faint, but it's there. And when I put it on, it has a very nice mirror. Clean it. It has a very nice mirror. But when I put them on, I smell it. I contacted them and I asked them about it because I thought maybe they were expired. I don't see a date on them right now. But they said to me, they don't want to add fragrance to the makeup. They want to leave it in its natural state because it's a clean brand. And now I finally know why a lot of brands add so much fragrance to their makeup. I would rather smell this. And also, I thought they'd be a little more pigmented. You can hardly see these two shades, and I'm really fair. But you know what? I like a light matte natural look, especially for summer. And also, you can see the two darker shades are quite similar. But you know what? I still love the palette. I just popped something shiny. I'm going to show you something later on. Let's move on to the next palette, and this is in the shade Silk. Now the last palette was all matte, and this palette is all satin, shimmer, satin. I'll just show it to you. I used this one only three times because I wanted to know if I liked it, but I, I find these are shades that I would wear more in fall or winter. See, the thing about this brand is it's a very clean brand and it's cruelty free. But what it says on the website is these are the products that Victoria Beckham felt were missing from her makeup bag. And that's how I feel. I feel like she made these shades for herself, what suits her, and she didn't make the shade. Well, anyway. Okay, next, I have only one of her lid lusters for when you want to add a bit of shine to your eyelids. I chose the shade Blonde because I want to use it as an eyeshadow topper and in my inner corner. It has a little cover thingy like the Hourglass ones do so it won't dry up. It is very creamy. It is very shiny. And even if I show it to you with... Um, the light, like just natural light, it's still very, very shiny. So this is artificial light, and here is how shiny it stays even in natural light. So here it is. It is so creamy, so buttery, so shiny. If you, you do get a little bit of fallout, but I mean, it's nothing this shiny is without some fallout. So it's very, very little fallout. I put a smaller amount on the left swatch so you could have a better idea of how you can wear it different ways. I have a couple of 
other this type of products, but I really, really like this one because it's creamier and it, I don't know, it just sticks better. Super smooth and creamy and it really lasts well throughout the day, even in the heat. One more thing which I probably should have started with. This is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in Golden. This is the newer one. It's not the one on the right that's clear. It's the one on the left. I'm really in love with this primer. Matt, could you get out of here? There are three different sizes for this primer. This is the one the big YouTubers call travel size, but I call it, I have to sell my car almost to buy it. It just gives you a little bit of a golden, tiny bit of tint, and it's very dewy. It looks so natural. It looks like you've been out in the sun, and I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss brush, which you don't even feel touching your skin and yet they're working but okay let's get back to this if you could see right here it's a little bit dewy and it's just the nicest color and the thing that I love about it after you remove it your skin continues to look really good and I'm going to keep using this nice and moisturizing it feels great on my skin I'm so afraid that I know I'm already in love with it and I'm going to end up having to buy it again this brand is not inexpensive, but it's so luxurious, high performing. It's not perfect for me in every way, but I really do love it. It's so unique. I can't even tell you how much I wish I had more of this brand to show you. A lot of people are asking about whiskey. We don't see her very much. Whiskey's well and doing fine. It's just because it's so hot that this is pretty much what she does all day and keeps us up all night but we love her, so that's okay. And that will be it for today. I wanna to thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.